in lessons. The controls that we put in place are designed to allow us to provide, as far as possible, the kind of education that we offered before the coronavirus pandemic. So most of what goes on in the classroom will be familiar to returning students. But in order to minimise the risk of infection, some aspects of the classroom experience will change. As you enter the classroom, which will be from an outside door where possible, you will sanitise your hands at the station provided, and in most subjects go directly to a designated seat. Your teacher will keep a record of the seating plan for your class so that we know whom to contact if someone has the coronavirus symptoms. In some classrooms, you will notice that the tables and chairs are laid out differently. This is to avoid students facing each other at close distances, which is a situation that presents an increased risk of transmitting the virus. Similarly, we've changed the curriculum to reduce group working of the kind that requires students to face each other. Some of your teachers may be wearing face coverings, particularly if they have been shielding or are especially vulnerable. We've made other changes to the curriculum, removing activities like singing and blowing wind instruments for the time being. Activities like chanting in modern languages have also been temporarily removed. Activities involving the school's equipment have been significantly reduced. In some cases, for example where an important resource is used across several classes, students or staff will wipe down the relevant items after each use. Students will not be able to borrow equipment, so it's imperative that you bring a pencil case to school containing all the items mentioned in the second video. The PE department has taken advice from national governing bodies for sport. While amendments will be made to certain activities, we're confident that we can continue to deliver safe and appropriate physical education. Students should come to school with the correct kit, ready to take part in active lessons. All PE lessons will take place outside unless extreme weather conditions make this impossible, so packing a towel to dry off and a waterproof jacket suitable for sport is encouraged. In most cases, teaching will take place at the front of the room, in line with government guidance, and so teachers' ability to move among the class to offer personalised feedback on the spot will be reduced. While certain practices and activities will prove impossible for the time being, we've worked hard to provide alternatives that offer similar kinds of learning in different but equally engaging formats. As a community, our growing expertise in online technologies in particular offers opportunities for new ways of learning. What's really important is that we're all working together to get the best out of the situation, and that's why it's crucial that students adhere to the code of conduct set out in the fourth video.